What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what to do if your PlayStation 5 won't load a game. Let's get right into this. If your PlayStation 5 game won't load, there is a few things that you can try to fix the issue. First, simply try resetting the PlayStation 5. You're going to want to turn off the console, then you're going to unplug the power cord and leave it for at least 5 minutes. Now plug everything back in and turn on the PlayStation 5 and see if your issue is resolved. Now if that didn't work, check to see if your PlayStation 5 has the current update. If it does, then move on to the next step and if your PlayStation 5 does not have the current update, make sure that you do that update and hopefully that will resolve your issue. You're going to also want to make sure that that game that you're trying to play doesn't have a pending updates that didn't automatically start to work and if it does, that might be why that the game itself is not launching and won't go into the game because there's actually an update pending for that game so make sure your game is updated to prior to using it. Next if that didn't work try to rebuild the database which is super easy to do. To do this you're going to turn off the console you're going to then enter safe mode by pressing and holding the power button for seven seconds until you hear two beeps. After the second beep, it should be launching into safe mode and then you can connect your controller to your PlayStation 5. Now you're going to select option 5 and you're going to choose rebuild database and now you're going to follow the steps on screen to finish this process. Next you're going to want to try to restore the licenses for the game. On the home screen you're going to navigate to settings, then you're going to click on users and accounts. Now you're going to choose restore licenses followed by restore. Now you're going to wait for it to finish this process and then you're going to click OK and then you're going to try to see if those games did work. If it's only one game that's not working or if it is a couple, usually by doing the restore licenses, hopefully that will work for you. Now if it's only one or a few games that is not working properly, then you're going to just simply want to try deleting the game and re-downloading it. This won't necessarily delete all of the saved data, but it will just delete the internal save for the game and then you can re-download it and if it does work from there on, you have from where you left off for the save files because you didn't delete any of the save files. Now unfortunately if none of those steps did work for you the last thing to try is in safe mode and that is option 6 which will factory reset your PlayStation 5. Now prior to going this route make sure you have everything backed up into the cloud and make sure you disconnect your external hard drive if you are using one on the PlayStation 5 because sometimes that will erase some games or some content that's on that external hard drive. If you do have an SSD that is in the PlayStation 5 that will not be affected. But hopefully one of the other fixes did work for you and you don't have to go the factory reset route. If you do, it's simply by Google going and doing the factory resets and then downloading everything back onto the console and see if it does work once again. Hopefully you guys are having your console working properly now and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.